one of the things I get asked most about by friends and family and people writing in is about how to do a really good crispy pork. Yes. Now the key to a good crispy pork is one, the quality. Mm -hmm. I like to use Murray Valley pork. And two, is drying it out for the night yes. before you cook it. That's essential in pulling the moisture out of the skin to ensure you get a crackly skin. Yep. So here I have my lovely Murray Valley pork strip loin. I've taken it out of the packet and I've dried it out in the fridge overnight. If you wanted to, you could also sprinkle some salt over it to pull that extra bit of moisture out and make sure you get that really crunchy, dry crackle. Yeah. So now yeah. I'm going to prep this lovely bit of pork here. Not to and feed a crowd. Yeah, that's enough for awesome. six to eight people and Absolutely. really good price as well. And what you're going to do for me, Emma, yes. I've got some rhubarb, about four stems, just finely cut up there. Rhubarb, rhubarb. I know how you love rhubarb. rhubarb. And I also have four pears. Oh, look at these beauties. Now you're just going to top and tail them, mm. remove the cores yep. and just chop it up. There's no rhyme or reason because this strip loin is also going to be self-sourcing. Do that. While you're doing the pears, I'm just going to put the rhubarb in the base of our roasting tray, and that's going to absorb all the lovely pork juices, a little bit of stock, and also a secret ingredient and possibly one of the most famous ingredients for going with pork, thanks to Maggie Beer. Oh, Maggie. Is some verjuice. Now, verjuice is a lovely alternative to vinegar. It adds a little bit more sweetness, but still get the acidity, and it pairs so well with good quality crispy pork. And pears. And pears. It, it does. Pears. This recipe, there is method to my madness. <laughs> pears, sweetness, go really well with pork. Similar to apples, rhubarb, get that nice sour flavour. Need that with pork because oh. of the richness and also verjuice. Add in some good quality Australian stock and that's going to help create that sauce to finish off. So I'm just going to score the skin. Pork skin is quite tough. It Unless is. you have a razor, you're not going to cut deep enough through into the flesh, but just be careful as you go. And as you'll notice, I'm using more of the tip of my knife to score the skin rather than the heel of the blade. Yeah. So I'm just going to chop these into chunks. You yeah. That? Well, as you can see, my rhubarb's chopped in little chunks. It doesn't yeah. really matter because after it cooks off in the oven for about an hour, we're just going to put in the food processor and make a rusty oh, pear yum. and rhubarb sauce. Now to go with the crispy pork, Emma, yeah. I also have some spices. Now everyone knows that fennel goes so well with pork, but I also have some cumin seeds from the spice people. Now really good quality spices, but they also pair really well with pork. Teaspoon of fennel, teaspoon of cumin seeds straight in, and then just lightly bruise it. Can you put a good tablespoon of salt into here as well, Emma? I can. I don't want to grind this to a fine powder. I want it quite coarse, and that's going to also be a texture when you're eating the crackling. Because when you think about it, crackling is crunchy and crunch, crunch, crunch. Oh, the, the spices so are also going to crunch up in the oven and going to add to that delightful flavour. As you can see, it's still quite coarse, and I haven't ground it to a fine powder, and that's exactly how I want it. I love that though, you really see that gorgeous texture of those yeah, spices. Yeah, and you can smell it now coming out. So, pork. Onto my rhubarb and pears, verjuice and stock. And now the spice is over. And do you do a really hot oven? Really hot oven. And do you crackle up first and turn down? You know it. That's, that's, I I think, that's a fail safe way. Yeah. Crackle first, pork meat later. Yep. Nail your crackle and then cook the beef. Yeah. With the strip loin though, I would definitely do that with a belly and some sort of pork I was going to braise mm. but wanted a crispy crackling with. With a strip loin, Really hot oven, 220 degrees for about 55 minutes. Pull it out, rest it for 10 minutes, but Done. don't cover it. Right. Or if you do cover it, a tea towel. Because if you wrap it up, it's going to oh, yeah. steam and then you're going to get soggy crackling. And no one wants that. No you don't want to go through all that. this work to end up with soggy crackling. 220 degrees, about 55 minutes, and keep an eye on it in the oven. You might have to spin it around in case you've got some hot spots and you might burn one corner. Look at this crispy strip loin, Emma. So good. Those mountains of crackling are from drying it out in the fridge overnight. It yeah. makes such a difference to your crackling and my little seasoning in the middle. When you cut it and carve it, it's gonna be a self-seasoning pork as well. Yum. So I'm just gonna transfer this across 
to a serving plate. Mm -hmm. Now you just take that out to the table and be theatrical again. Carve it in front of everyone. Go old school. Old school, I love it. I have a stick blender there. Jeez. And as I said, this is a self-sourcing pork. I'm gonna step away so, from this. Emma, my chambre is not gonna like. Emma, have some faith. So the key to not, and I'm gonna say this and then I'm gonna spray myself. Key to not getting it everywhere is not to lift the stick blender yeah, initially. True. Just keep it down. And when you do lift it, take your button off it. Right. I'm just gonna blitz this up so it's nice and smooth. Might leave a couple of chunks in there, a bit of texture. Oh, the texture's good. Oh, there we go. Self-sourcing crispy strip loin. And just decant Ooh, that. Look at that. Nice, chunky sauce. And that is my really simple, fail-proof, crispy strip loin. Look at this. Yum. And with a really handy, simple sauce underneath. Sauce. Roast off some vegetables, so some sweet fruit. Use the ingredients that you want and you're going to get a perfect sauce every time.